Hey everyone, welcome back to Code with Killer. I'm on from this side and I hope you all are doing good. So, let's just start. Today we will be creating this pop-up modal, modal box using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So, let me just click here and see. There's a beautiful transition in the button first of all. If I hover on it, you can see the transition, right? And if I click on it, uh, there's a beautiful pop-up modal which is up here, right? And here we have the same effect in the button and you can see the effect when the pop um, model comes down right so yeah this is it this is we are going to create today first of all let's just style uh, structure and style our button so i'm going to start with the btn giving you uh, getting our div with the class btn and here nothing much just uh, give me right and let's just go live and see here we have click me right so let's just style this right uh before styling uh, let me link uh, this to uh, style.css now in the styling part uh first of all uh select all and uh, reset the setting to for all the uh, power margin zero padding zero and uh, box sizing border box just uh i'm giving it a font family uh, personal favorite sensory right so here we do have a btn uh right so it's a btn and before that we have body so let me just give it a display flex and justify content uh, to my body so that uh, whichever whatever is inside this will be in center and uh, i'm giving body height to 100 vh and background color don't give it background color let's just see so you can see we do have a clicking button uh click me text at the center now let's move to our btn and give it some height and width width uh, let's just see our uh, color and try height to uh, three up uh and see okay nothing is there let me just give it some background color uh, background color yeah it's there uh so let's just use border radius one gram uh let's see how it looks and then that not good enough okay three gram it's there right uh give it some border uh border fun let's give it two pixels solid light coral color and we can remove the background color from here right to uh, give it the color uh not this thing uh color uh, light coral as well here now uh, keep this text in the center so it shortly uh, we can give a uh, display flex uh, and random center justify content to the center as well okay uh, this looks good this does looks good now what we can do oh we can style it hover hover effect dot btn uh hover effect we just need to change the as you can see here uh we just need to change the color and background color and we need to transform it right so let's just transform it uh scale or oh, just increase the size and uh, give it color or uh, white and background color or uh, light color let's see uh, right it's working but the transition is not smooth so for that we just can say transition all just at 0.5 second or right now this does looks good you can see uh, this is similar to this right now let's uh, style our model this does not has much it has adding then paragraph then we have similar button right so let's just style it i am giving a display none or because we don't want to button to be seen here while we are uh, working around model okay or uh, let's just have a text inside here pop up uh, model after this let's just have a lot of if some text and here uh, let's have a button uh, we need to, to give it a uh, another class as well so that we can you differentiate between these two buttons right so it's there button let's just say a uh, close right uh, is a button uh, class btn i have given it the same it's the same class btn class okay i have uh, given it flex so that's why it's not visible let me just not flex i have given it none so that's why it was not visible now let's just give it flex and comment this okay you can see we have close button but it's quite big so before that let's just uh, go to model and style this 
dot model oh, give it some height and width oh, with i think 25 mm let's give it and height 10 mm 10 mm will be smaller let's just see i think it's quite smaller and uh, while we are working on this let me just uh, give a body a background color light color okay and uh, our modal background color white because at the end we will be getting it that's a white we need to increase the height okay uh, right height is given so just an align these things so uh, display flex uh, item center justify to the center or space uh, we can use it only change that flex direction to column let's see uh, right we do have this and I think we should give it some padding as well okay uh, this does looks good I think the we can increase the width uh, obviously I just have 30 rep here right it does looks good we need to it's personal choice if you want uh, to reduce its height we can do that by giving modal button uh, width uh, of lesser I think we have given it 12 rep uh, we can have it 8 here 8 rem or 9 rep and uh, height uh, we can have 2 rep okay uh, it's smaller now the same styling is there cool so now let me just uncomment this click away now we have these two things clicking button is here and this button is there right so first of all let's just get this out of our document flow or uh, position or uh, by giving it position absolute okay dot modal i have given it position absolute cool let's just have our background color of not light coral as of now and give it top zero let's get it at the top right now you can see we have these two right we do have these two and uh, uh, let's just make modal display none by default right so initially we have something like this we want modal to pop up when i click on this right so for that uh, let's uh, i'm planning to have an active class on the body if active class is there then i want something right so let's just type oh, when active class is there body dot active class right when there is a active class on the body or simply i can just say active class background color or uh, just make it to uh, light coral good and uh, one more thing dot active if active class there then modal or uh, display to which flex and not the button uh, we need to uh, give it another class uh, and apart from button it's uh, it just have a click me so that if i give a button display and then both of the button will go on so i am giving it a different class click me when there is active class and inside this there is a click me so just display uh, none to this let's see now you can see there is a pop-up model and the uh, button is not there if i remove the active class button is there but pop-up model is not there so let's just have this in this functionality with our javascript right so i am selecting the body or document uh, so we cannot write javascript like this we need to add a tag script to like body equal or document dot query selector body so uh, another thing we want to have is like modal button because when clicking on the modal button we want it to be close right or uh, document dot uh, query selector dot modal button and uh, another thing we want is click me button right click me or btn you can write document dot to query selector just like this uh, click me okay we do have three things and uh, uh, first of all let's have our event listener to click me button add event listener of click just execute this function and here we simply want to when someone clicks on this click or uh, click me button we want to add the active class to our body so body dot class this dot add active right and if not uh, if someone clicks on the modal button uh, we just want to uh, remove the class active class from body body dot class list dot remove uh, active class okay so initially let's 
just not have the class active class is not there okay cool let me just remove the class as well here and see uh, if i click on it active click me uh pop up up here if i go click on close it goes right so this functionality is working but now we need to have this animation effect when i am clicking on it you can see uh it looks beautiful when it's come down right it's like uh, it appears like as curtains has been dropped from the top right so let's just add these functionality so one more done uh let's just add animation animation of show name of 0.5 second and let me define the at the rate keyframes uh, it's going to be show and what i am going to do uh, at zero from zero percent to one percent uh transform it and translate it to y a uh, minus 99 percent because uh as when i've given it to uh, initially if i use we i've given it top zero so it's at the top if i'm giving it if i'm translating it 99 percent above so we won't be seeing anything just a one percent will be seeing right and uh, after this uh, when it's at the end like uh, from 99 percent to 100 percent just transform it 100 percent transform it or uh, translate by minus 100 percent okay not the minus just the 100 percent translate let's see oh uh, not the 100 percent let's just have it to zero percent because we want it at the top you can see the transition right it's happening in 0.5 second but the another transition is of background color you can notice the difference here the background color is also taking time right there is also animation in there we have uh, implemented the modal coming down for finality let's just add so for background we just need to go to body and say uh, the transition all just have led to five seconds just take five seconds right cool so yeah uh, this is for the project if you like the video do comment uh, like and don't forget to subscribe the channel